Alrighty guys, welcome back um, to my channel. Um, so as the title says, this one is going to be an overview of the, excuse me, the Speedwayno install I did on the Toyota Altera some time ago. Ever since I posted those videos, I've been getting numerous emails, Facebook messages, and pretty much contact. Um, concerning that installation so I thought I'd just make an overview video um, uh, I hope to answer almost every question which I get asked um, to start off with um, just go over what the car is it's a it's a Toyota Alteza um, some markets um, the chassis goes to the US and the UK as the IF200 and the 300 so they they come in six cylinders, but in the Japanese market, it came with a four cylinder, a free FGE two liter engine. The engine has a has dual VVTI on both the cam and the exhaust. Um, from factory, they also have a 11 to 11.5 to one compression ratio, if I recall correctly. Um, it has a six speed transmission. Yes, yeah, so the the owner reached out to me. He wanted um, some programmability with his ECU, um, since Toyota factory ECU is not con is not tunable. Um, Toyota is notorious for not leaving their ECUs open, unlike Honda, Subaru, Mitsubishi, and whatnot. So um, he was in the market. He reached out. He asked if Speedwayno could work. Um, I did some research and I. We took the the plunge so um the factory ecu is also tied into the car's canvas so it also controls it has the car has an electronic throttle body among other things the ecu controls the alternator for charging and then we have the canvas which is tied into that so the air conditioning the dash and a bunch of other stuff are uh, tied into the car's factory computer so it wasn't a case of just pulling out the computer and everything would be good so I decided to do a parallel installation. So what it what what that is is we leave the factory ECU to do most of the configurations and the controls for AC and whatnot. I left idle control, the idle control valve with the factory ECU, and also the the VVTI control and then the advancing and the retarding of the cam gears. The intake and the exhaust. Um, currently, Speedwayno cannot to close loop VVDI control, so that's why I decided to leave it with that. So what I did was I ran a separate harness. I made a custom harness um, out of 22 gauge wire. Um, ran that. It's about eight feet long. Run it through the firewall, and I pretty much patched into the the crank signal. I did not use the cam, just the crank signal. I patched into the water temp. TPS coolant and whatnot, and power ground and what other the other um, um, signal speed when I would need um, for the fuel injectors and the spark. I put some connectors in so that it can you can easily swap between the speed window and the factory issue to control it. So it's on a within a few seconds you can just pull out the the factory ECU's connector to the coils and the fuel injectors and that has been able to do it. If he feels like running his factory ECU for whatever reason, it's a matter of about a few seconds to swap over. Um, I left VVTI with the factory ECU. Like I said, Speedrun cannot do, for now, open loop VVTI control. So what happens is Speedrun cannot control the cam the the movement of the cam the cam phasing as it's called so i i pretty much i made a map um i use a lot of the the well i i i look through the the internet and only link makes a standalone ecu for a altezer so i look at the base map um i was able to get the trigger offset from that base map and what else i think the injector dead times I got that from that everything else nothing else would pretty much carry over that's but you can use you can use links spark mark map but however the the it's very conservative so it's 
you pretty much better off just starting a, a map from scratch. The same goes for the VE table, the fuel table. So I made both of these from scratch and everything else I made from scratch, the warm-up enrichment, the cranking enrichment, which took a little time. Excuse me. So moving on, um, I wired that in. Um, then the car started. Um, I was having a couple issues um, with the initial start, but after a few hours, I was able to get the car working pretty good. Um, what I've noticed is just that um, I think in the next couple of days or weeks, I may you um, pull the idle control valve from the stock issue and have speed unit to that because it has the car idling a bit too low for my taste. But for the most part, it, it was fine. Um, tuning with um, VVTI not being controlled by the speed unit. It has, how would I put it? Um, it has some workarounds. Um, so what happens is that varying loads and throttle position, the factory ECU would switch the car, play with the cam and the VVTI timing. So um, it takes um, a lot of data logging and a lot of street tuning to get it just right. Because on with one throttle position and a particular vacuum, you may get. Alrighty, so like I was saying, so with speed density you tune in if map versus rpm so what you would find is because the factory is you still control the vvti at a certain rpm say we choose 3000 rpm at half throttle versus wide open throttle you would get the same vacuum in the manifold however the factory is you would still be adjusting the cams um for optimum i guess based on whatever map in the factory is you had um, what this the effects of this with speed unit is that um, you find that you have usually you have a swing in airflow to the engine and as a result you have a swing in in F, F -L ratio when you doing a the V table so that required some workarounds um, for the most part we have it pretty good um, I intend on trying dual maps with with it in the as soon as the firmware gets up to par. I think we, it, it's there now but there is no trigger for it currently so I'm just using one map one VE table and one SPAC table to tune um, around VVTI so far it's working pretty good um, the ignition is for now seems pretty good the car wanted a lot less ignition than I <laughs> I anticipated um, for the most part, the car seems to be running just fine. Um, the, yeah, what we have experienced thus far is, I think peak power remained the same, although we haven't pushed time in that much. But peak power ultimately remained the same, and we experienced a lot of gains in the bottom end torque. You can feel the additional torque from off idle up all the way up to like three thousand RPM. You get you feel the torque, so the power bar now feels flat instead of peak, peaky as it was with the factory ECU. I'm um, not sure what else I, I need to mention about this car. The car has been driving around just fine. Um, I used the speed unit to engage launch control, two-step and flat shift. That works just fine of the factory clutch switch. Um, idle control, I think I spoke about that. Um, we because speed owner doesn't do drive by wire we're going to leave that with the we're going to leave the throttle body control with the factory issue however I'm, like i said i'm planning to switch the idle control valve to speed winner and then fully that will make for a better running car um the map <laughs> like a couple of folks have asked me for the map um unfortunately i'm not i'm not going to share the map um I have my reasons why I choose not to. Um, I think in the interest of fairness, um, my position on it, different persons who tune vehicles may look at it differently, but I think it's unfair so that um, for me to charge someone to bring their car in where I create a map, um, they pay me for the tuning and then I turn around and I sell that map or I give that, no. Or I give that map away for free. I think it's a disservice to myself because it's it's a disservice to myself and the customer in that I, I these maps take a long time to come up with and 
I think that person should be rewarded for their time and effort and there should be some sort of integrity and in this industry that's my stance on it other persons may look at it differently other persons may be giving away maps for free that is fine I, I have no problem if another person does it but however I choose not to share the maps right but like anything else um, I'm, I'm always helping out folks if you need any advice, um, shoot me an email. I'll try my best to help you as long as I have time. Lately, I've just been swamped with time. Um, with work, sorry. So time has not been something I have had a lot of extra of. All right, so before this gets too long, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I may put some clips in with the car driving around the last time. The last time it came to me. Um, flat shift and whatnot working. Um, so I may link that here. Yeah? If not, guys, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the interest in the videos and the project. Um, like always, guys, like, subscribe, share, comment. And thank you, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, stay safe. Yes.